All right. Oh, what's the name of the podcast? You forgot, didn't you? What was it? Heck or cringe. First episode. I've had this idea for. That's what we're doing. Ever. What's the name of the podcast? That's the name of the podcast. Oh. That's, that's the name. That's the name. That's Damascus. The sound quality is probably really, really bad. No, it's good. <laughs> I actually heard it. It's really good. It's, mm-hmm. Okay. 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 What are we? What are we kicking or cringing today? Let's. You know what? Let's go through Discord. Let's take turns. Let's take turns. Let's go through Discord. What? Let's go through Discord. See what that's 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 not how this works, Leo. I don't think you understand. Oh, okay. Okay, no. cringe works. Okay. One person brings up a topic, and then they start a discussion on whether or not it is keck or cringe. Oh. So what do you think of the imposters in Brazil? Honestly. Right, here's my here's my opinion. I feel as though the Brazilian imposters are a little sus, a little. I think... I don't know. I feel like somebody needs to do something about it. Honestly, you know, I saw this listen. TED Talk. Okay, you can take uh-huh. it. Oh, sorry. I saw this TED Talk. Um, I thought it was really good. And this guy was talking about how we need to deploy troops down there. And I agree. I agree. I think it's kind of weird that it was a TED Talk, but, you know, I, I still got the information. And, uh, I think I've seen that one, too. Yeah, I, I don't remember what that one was called. Was it from like an MDs know. or something? I don't know. I don't watch a lot of TED Talks. Oh, dinner. Here's what I'm having for dinner. What are you having for dinner? Set cereal? It is? Okay, this is our debate for today. What? Keck or cringe? Is anything submerged in a liquid cereal? This is in a vinegary, watery, oily mix, and it is broccoli particles. Would this be considered a cereal? Or a soup, sorry, a soup. A soup? Yeah. Well, think about this. Think about this. Pizza. You know how pizza sits in its little pool of grease and oil? Yeah. Does that make pizza a soup? In a way. But here's my thing. It's only one piece. Or big pieces. Soup more needs to be particles or smaller pieces that that kind of swim or, or it, like in, in, in it, like mix in with the the liquid. That's why cereal is a debate because sometimes cereal is like you know the cookie ones or like the the powdered donut ones. Those are bigger. That can be debatable if it's a cereal not because well, they're kind of big. If- if all cereal is soup, then bigger things floating in water would be soup. Bigger things floating in water. That is true. A boat in the ocean could be soup. A, a Here's the thing. Toilet There's only one piece. Soup. There's only one boat piece to it. That's not true. There's multiple boats in one big If ocean. you had multiple boats in the lake or ocean or body of water. There are set. there are hundreds of boats in the ocean at any given time. I didn't know? say ocean. I said body of water. Okay. Let's say the ocean. The ocean is one big soup. A boat in comparison to the size of the entire ocean not is only very counting small. Boats, and there counting. are multiple boats in the ocean and other other things, you know, like how soup doesn't just have life. one thing in it. The it sea has... life is the the tomato sauce, the onions. It all pulls together. The to tofu. Make the food. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, you have whales. But have here's the thing, as I was saying, the cereal debate, it gets soggy after a while. Soup doesn't get soggy because the stuff is primarily. It's meant to be, to be soggy. Submerged. Yeah, exactly. So cereal starts mm. as hard, like crunchy. That's the debate. But when you think about but, the cookie ones, they are big, but they are originally soft, which makes them more soupy, except they're big. So people debate. You can only have so many cookies in there. Hey, Leo. You yeah. know what rhymes with soupy? What? Susie. No, it does not. What do you think rhyming is? S- Soupy and Susie totally. Man, I can make orange eye with banana. Bore, no, no. In the great play Fortnite with their grandma. 
What do you think of Bornana? Is that tech or cringe? Bornana, what is it? It's a. Man, I think Bornana is pretty tech. I think Bornana is pretty tech. Orange keck. with banana. So it's orange with banana. I don't. Okay. Per- particularly, I don't love bananas. And especially after this TikTok I saw of some guy. I'm not exactly sure who it was, but it was very strange. They may they mix DNA of a slug to make a living banana. Ew, that's Let me see weird. if I can pull that up. No, right. no, 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 no. That's that's not necessary. No, thank you. No, thank you. I would prefer that you did it. What are you doing? Is that a banana? Well, what is all that white stuff on? Why is it moving, bro? Bro, why is it your banana's alive, bro? The future's looking bright for what? Bananas taking over the world? Don't mind the guy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> what? But uh, someone mixed DNA of a damn, I'm guessing slug. That could be the closest thing to whatever that monstrosity looks like. <laughs> <laughs> and it wiggles. It's a wiggling banana. Well, that is quite interesting. But me personally, I don't care about your opinion, but I love bananas. I love oranges. I think the combination of the two is great, especially with m M&M. and Mm, that Chocolate covered bananas tech. I would like to try somewhere in the future. Bananas are 50 cents a quick check. They're very cheap. I might grab a banana. Why are you always going to quick check? You know there's other places in the world. Besides yes, quick but check. now they have vinegar chips of their own kind that are cheap in big bags. And they have chocolate syrup, and they have blueberries and strawberries, and they also have grapes. And now they have the 50 cent banana selection. And the thing is, you're getting... You basically get what you pay for because it can. It, you, clearly, you look at the bananas. It's not a random selection, but there are some good bananas and there's some bad bananas, and it's kind of hard to tell because it's they're all piled up on each other. So that's kind of like a debate on itself. Like which banana are you gonna get for good? Because there could be a really good one at the bottom, but you see this one with a little bit of brown on it. You pick the little one. Hold it's on, fifty hold cents. On. Let's, say, let's say let's say hypothetically, hypothetically for the sake of the argument, of course, I had a big gallon of liquid maybe it's milk or maybe it's chicken broth or water or apple juice or something and i put it all over that crate of bananas does that make banana soup here's one thing you also need to take into consideration and this is another reason why people say cereal is not a soup because for a soup to be a soup you need the liquid inside to take up more mass, more space than the rest. You can't have all this good ingredients and then the soup layer to here or just on the thing. You need it to swim. You need to swim in it. So if there's a hypothetically a pile of bananas, but the bananas are just laying on themselves, then you pour the water and the water is just going to go straight up to the line of bananas and really, there's not going to be that much water in there. And you need the, the the liquid or water to take up the more... It needs to be more mass than the bananas. No, I'm serious here. No, no, I agree. I agree. <laughs> That's why I always make my cereal. The water goes above. And then I notice when I eat it out and eat... eat <laughs> <laughs> When I eat, 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 eat the cereal, sometimes when I get to the bottom, it's only swimming on the top. That tells me I did it right because that tells me once I get to the end, there is more milk than than cereal. Because I eat all the cereal and there's still milk left. That's how you know you made the perfect soup. So yes, my cereal is always soup. What about you? Also, scratch that. Are you milk before cereal or cereal before milk? <laughs> um, you know what? That's that's a fine question. That's a mighty fine question. I personally, I always put the milk after the cereal because, and I have a reason, because... I want to measure how much of the cereal I'm actually getting because, you know, regardless of whether or not you put the milk first or the cereal first, you know, 
there's going to be more cereal than milk. There's going to be more cereal than milk. So you need to, especially for someone like me, who's, you know, trying to look at what they're eating. Another thing about your banana idea. You can see how much you put in it. Mm -hmm. So you can see just how much cereal there actually is. And then you can pour the milk. If you were to pour the milk first and then put the cereal after, it would always just go right to the top and you wouldn't really be able to tell if it was filling up the bottom because you can't see the bottom because it's covered in cereal. Spot and on. That's what I, I'm trying exactly. to say about the banana Everybody, analogy. I, the I, I'm, I'm, I think it's strange that, um, that there's even an argument about this. I, I assumed that everybody just put the cereal first because that's how... I was taught to pour cereal, and you know, whenever, whenever there's discourse about this, you know, of course, is the one person that says, "Oh, I put the bowl first. and you know, I guess they're right. I guess they're just trying to make a, a joke out of, of a serious situation. Yeah, this is not you know? funny. It's it's kind of like it's kind of like a more mainstream version of wiping your booty on the toilet. Because everybody has a slightly different method of doing this. And I didn't really know that until a few months ago. But everyone really, everyone does it differently. Because there isn't really that one person who just sits there and shows you, this is how you wipe your butt. You're supposed to wipe it just like this. Your dad never taught everyone you how to wipe your butt. Everyone does it strangely. Your dad taught you how to wipe your butt. <laughs> What do you what do you think about um, wiping butts? Is that kick or cringe? Okay, no, no, no. Here's the real argument. Do you look at your toilet paper every time you wipe, or do you only look on the last one? Why am I looking at my toilet paper? And like when you wipe, do you look? No. <laughs> then how do you know when you're on the last one? Why would I look? Then how, how do you know when you're done? You feel it. You feel it. You're like, okay, is it still there? Do I still need to clean it up? Is it still all over? No. Yes or no? You no. can feel it. No, you cannot there's, feel there's it. A reason, there's a reason why you have nerves, Leah. I so you can look. feel things on your skin. I look on every way. That is so disgusting. You look there at could your... be a little bit that you can't feel. The rest you. Do. Look at... <laughs> You look at your own doo doo every time. Mm -hmm. That is so nasty. You Why have would to you do that on purpose. No, <laughs> you don't have to. This was never a thing. Um. Oh, you don't want to get me. That is a little cringe. Anyway, back to the banana idea. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> If you have all these bananas in this container and then you pour the water, there's going to be more bananas. If you pour the water first and then put the bananas in, you'll know when you fill it up too much because the bananas will go everywhere. So you're telling me that the liquid has to be poured first in order for it to be a soup? No, I'm saying you're correct. With cereal, then milk. <laughs> I'm confused. Can you explain? Can you elaborate in more simplistic terms, if possible? What I'm trying to say is that if you put the water in first and then the nanners, they're all going to go everywhere. Because the okay. water will just... That is not how banana work on water. Let's talk about something else. Um, crypto. All right. It, do you think crypto is keck or do you think it's cringe? And I'm gonna. Oh, it's cringe. I'm gonna ask you first because you're you're smarter than I. Cringe. Evidently. And why is that? There's no worth to it because once crypto's dead and everybody gets their money sold and everybody gets what they were planning on, because everybody will once it's over, everybody will get the money they asked for. Or at least got the people with these companies are gonna be screwed because they're gonna lose all their money at their crypto is worth because they can't just keep it all. Then everyone's gonna be pissed. I'm like, what the hell? You're shutting down our the crypto with all the money that you just kept from us, so they have to give it out, or else the company would have a bad rap or and or get shut down. So here's 
They're all going to lose it in the end, so I'm saying they better keep it alive as long as they can. And that's why it's sad that Elon get into it, because Elon is a good guy. He can help the world with the money he has. He said he will. But now with the crypto thing, now he's going to get well, stuck in this loop. Well, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say that Elon Musk is a, is a good guy. Listen, I didn't say he personally was, but he can help the world and he said he might. So He if can, he said, and there's so much he could do right now that he isn't doing. He could donate a lot of his money to cure hunger in so many countries. He said and he he's will. Not. He can do it right now. Then tell him to. Get him on the call. I can't invite Elon Musk to the call, Leo. That's preposterous. What is wrong with you? Anyways, what do you have I, for dinner? I think, I think crypto... Here's the thing. I think it's a little cringe. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I think that. At first, you know, when I first heard of it, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. I don't know. It seems interesting, but I don't know if I would personally get at it. But then more developments in the crypto sphere arrived and I I wasn't very fond of them. And a big example of something that I, I didn't like was when they had more than just Bitcoin. You know, they had all these different coins competing with each other. Like a, a big one was Dogecoin. You know, everybody's heard about Dogecoin. Yeah. The aforementioned Bitcoin, you know. And that that was a little strange. It's like how are you how are you competing money with money? That doesn't sound like a smart idea. Yeah. I I, th I thought that wasn't gonna work out in the long run. But keep your eyes. But then but then came NFTs. Oh my god. Monkey. What can I say about NFTs that hasn't already been said about NFTs? NFTs. Not NFTs. Do you, okay, do you remember and you remember Crypto World? No. You didn't hear about Crypto World? No, what is that? Is that like Astro World? So there was this big thing going on. On, I think it was on Twitter and on a few and on uh, NFT Discord, um, in where they were advertising an island. These crypto investors they bought a whole island, and they wanted people to invest into their project, and they were gonna build these crazy hotels, and there was gonna be all sorts of stuff. There was gonna be like it was it was basically just gonna be a getaway vacation island for crypto people. There was going to be real life NFTs that you can buy. You can buy NFTs of property on the island. And they were already, you know, starting that. And um, it was a big old thing. And it got exposed as a scam. And this project stole millions of dollars from crypto bros all over the internet and they were crying and they were coping and they were seething and they were pooping all over the place because they oh my god i can't believe i got scammed by this source that has nobody else backing it up that's crazy oh my god can't believe it there's so much of that happens in the crypto sphere there's scams left and right left right it's so easy to steal money from stupid people on the internet nowadays it is so 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 easy i i didn't need, i wasn't even looking for it i saw it in my youtube recommended one day there's one guy telling thousands of people how to make an nft scam a successful nft scam because he's done it before and he's gained thousands of dollars. The NFT space and just the crypto space in general is not regulated by the IRS, and that's a problem. But the reason why it's never going to be regulated by the IRS is because more than half of the people there are scammers, and they yeah, don't want to get found out. Yeah, it's not secure to keep secure. 
all of these people want to keep all the money that they scammed off of idiots. And so, the NFT space and just the crypto space in general is always going to stay horrible. And eventually, when it fizzles out of popularity, like everything does, what happens then? Because now all that money As I said, everyone's means gonna nothing. Lose the money. All that money means nothing. So it didn't even matter that you stole all that money. Yeah. It's, it's so pointless. Yeah, it's, it's so either going to lose all its value. It's such a mess. Or all the money is going to go to the people that wanted it, and then the companies will be screwed. It's, it's either going to exactly. go one of the two ways. Exactly. And I guess there's, we'll find out pretty soon. There's not a good outcome. And these people, they, they call themselves entrepreneurs. They, they say, oh, I'm, you know, helping... This new budding crypto economy. I'm doing something new and different and unique. I'm doing something cool and good. And I'm going to make something of myself. And I'm going to do something with my life. I'm going to make smart decisions. And I'm going to get a lot of money. And it's like, you keep telling yourself that. Yeah. There. <laughs> And you know what's crazy? You know, there are actually some ATMs that accept Bitcoin. And you can yeah. get Bitcoin translated into real money. You can buy Bitcoin from it. Yeah. yeah. Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin isn't as bad, I would say. But when you go to Yacht Club NFTs, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no way. Very sad. Very Here's sad another thing I want to bring up. What do you think about the metaverse? Or what will be the metaverse? From what I've heard of the metaverse, I've heard it is the farthest away from Keck it could possibly be. I've heard it is uber mega cringe, but I haven't personally checked it out. I All I've just heard is there's this thing that Facebook is doing called the Metaverse. It has something to do with VR and the Sorry, crypto sphere so and right, that it's bad. And that's all I've heard about it. I haven't. I actually, so, that's not true. I saw a trailer for it at the Super Bowl. That one with the animatronic dog. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the I one look that like falls over ben. the stairs? <laughs> Here's what I have to say about it. I wish Bezos the best. I know he's not the perfect person, but everyone deserves a second chance. No. He's had many second chances. He has his money. I want Metaverse to fail as bad as it can. <laughs> it can ruin the world. If all, everyone's under these goggles all day... Uh, eating meta food and having meta babies. What are we going to do from there? I heard that um, they're doing meta basketball coaches to try and teach you basketball through the metaverse. That's meta. That is so meta. We, we need this to cringe. Okay, everybody, let's build a community. Cringe meta. <laughs> the anti-metaverse community. The cringeverse. <laughs> The cringe verse. <laughs> we have to fail. We have to make this fail. I love you, Bezos. You deliver my packages. Kill Meta. Stab it in the heart. Erase this. Go back a year. You made a mistake. I don't want to turn on my VR headset anymore. Because you want to know why? It's owned by Meta or Facebook. And now whenever I'm going to have to boot this up, I'm probably going to have to see an eight-year-old guy playing solitaire in my Meta house. Because you I don't Meta own, pay the rent. So Meta anyone can Meta live in. Man, that's so you hear what crazy. I'm, saying? I'm about to meta blow up a restaurant. Why? Can we go to that it, diner down it the street? Meta. Is like the boys together? Nevada diner. No, 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 no. Let me pull it up on Google Maps. I know you're not gonna be able to see. On <laughs> Google Maps. Mhm. Mm hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, um, I can't. I shouldn't really type my address in. You know what? You go ahead and do that. <laughs> Bloomfield. That's all I'm going to say. Bloomfield, New Jersey. Bloomfield. Um, um, Bloomfield. I can't believe you live in Bloomfield, New Jersey. You want me to leak the rest of your address? No, uh, no. No, no, no. All right. So I've dropped myself at... This is our high school, if you're wondering, people viewing. It's pretty... It's uh, a podcast. Uh, th yeah, visual podcast. Ah, I they see. They look at our faces I was not and whatever aware. I'm doing. 
<laughs> it's been on your face the whole time. You didn't know. On my on face? face? On both of our faces. It's all, I'm on the FaceTime tab. Ooh, I feel so stupid. I told you it was going to be a video. I literally told you. All right. All right. I, I see. I see. All right. All right. All right, then. What diner is this? What is this one called on State Street? The sta I guess the State Street. State, State Street, Street Grill. That's what it's called. <laughs> I love that place. It's okay. great. No, no, no. Going down my street. Or not my street. This is Six Points. We should go to Six Points, too. We should, uh, like... To where? Six Points. It's like a cool, pl cool place. You know where we should all go? We should go to BGR. That's a good place. BGR is mid. I got a root beer from there once, and it was actually pretty busting. So maybe we should go back. This place. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? I've always wanted to go. It's such a cute little place. Glenwood I... Diner Restaurant. Glenwood Diner. Oh, the yeah, one with the Glenwood. three doors on the front of it by Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you about that place. Yeah, the one I had a dream in. Yeah, the one where my dad got food poisoning. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me that. I thought I told you the story. My mom took my dad over there for their anniversary. And my dad got food poisoning. Oh, no. And it ruined the whole anniversary. And he hates that place now. And my mom makes a joke out of it every time we drive by. And my dad just, like, stares at her. <laughs> well, we should uh, go there. I hope we don't get food poisoning. Oh, it's sad. I probably couldn't order stuff. It's just a really cute little place. All right. Like River, you, me. You know where I would like to go so bad? Where? Popeyes. I want to go to Popeyes so bad. They're gonna I know build Popeyes one. Near here. I think uh, next year they're gonna build one by my elementary school. So it's like fifteen minutes away from my house. I just showed so that's your pretty phone cool. number. Why would you do that? <laughs> no, I just hovered my mouse over your face. <laughs> and it's, I hovered my mouse. Anyway. Is that a cyber attack? Did I just get cyber attacked? Did I just get meta attacked? <laughs> that is so meta. That is. But so yeah, meta. I had a dream there. You weren't in it because this was back in like 2017. I was in your dreams in 2017. That would be weird. And then all of a sudden we were meeting destined you. to meet each other. No, but it was a meme. Or it was a meme. What? <laughs> it was a dream, not a meme. <laughs> it was a dream where Gavin, me, Owen, and like Jacob got out of a subway that was that was Brookside. No, Brookside. Damn it. That was Wadsessing. It was a subway station, and then we get out, and we turn the corner, and we're at the State Street, or er, <laughs> all over the place, <laughs> and then we're at the Glenwood Diner restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go through the pass under the train to go to CVS, and it's like an 80s town, and I'm like, ooh, let's go, guys. And then I go in, <laughs> and then they didn't follow me, and I turn around, and it and the entrance was gone. It was just more streets. That is quite whimsical. It was like the back rooms, but like the 80s rooms. Anyway, Honestly, I go the back down the street to my house. So much. was about the size of this room. It was very tiny. And it was about two blocks tall. I'm talking in Minecraft. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was not tall. Um, and we were moving. And my car was just outside. My car was about as tall as the house. And we were moving... And I looked in the garage or whatever this tiny room was. It was about the as wide as my monitor. It was very small. I walked in. It was a little, like, tool shed. And there was some guy living in there. And apparently my parents didn't notice. It was, like, half the size of the house. What was his name? I don't know. It was just some weird guy. Can and I name him? then we moved him? to a house that looked similar, but it was down the street. Can I name him Jerome? Sure. Jerome. Jerome or Dave. Dave, Dave, Dave. I, oh my god, I had a dream when I was in kindergarten. I, it scared the shit out of me. It was a night nightmare. It wasn't even that scary. Now that I look back at it, but it still scares me because of the memories I had. It was in kindergarten, and it was a dream. And I wake up in the, at like 12 in the morning, which was like the latest you could ever, ever stay up. 
as a kid. I've I stayed never up did, past because you couldn't. I stayed um, up past that as a kid, and it freaked me out. I woke up at like twelve forty-five. My dad was like, "Wake up! It's lunchtime." I was like, "What?" What? I was six. And I was so confused. Lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. Why'd your dad say it was lunchtime? I don't know. He goes, Marcelo, wake up. It's lunchtime. At twelve in the morning. Twelve forty-five. A.M. Like in the morning. A.M. No, P.M. Oh, I'm talking about A.M. You woke up at 12, why, what? No, I didn't wake up. In my dream, I woke up at like 12 in the night. Midnight, midnight, I should just say midnight so you understand, dumbass. <laughs> midnight, I woke up in my dream at midnight. And okay. It super, and it was super dark out and my friend Madeline was over. And I remember Madeline because she was like my only friend in <laughs> kindergarten. And she was over and my, <laughs> and my mom and Madeline's mom were talking in the corner and I looked through the window. You know where Dexter's cage was today? Okay. Yeah. Let me just right by the piano. That window. You yeah. Know what I'm showing. yeah. The one, yeah. The one past the door the all the way down the hall. Yeah. Yes. That one. I know the window. That window I looked through and it was, again, it was super dark. The streetlights were on. It was scary for me. Very scary. And to scare it even more, there was a truck about, oh, I don't even know. It was so big. The truck was so big. And the trailer it had was about as wide as my house. Maybe two times. And you know what was sitting on top of that? You're going to laugh your balls off. But it was scary. It scared the shit out of me. On the back of that truck <laughs> was Java the Hut staring right at me. Java the Hut was the size of my house staring at me on the that back of a awesome. tractor trailer. You know how scary that is? For a little kid? <laughs> Java the Hut staring you down on a slow truck looking out the window in the dark? You know what? What? Chicken butt. Okay. That's kind of cringe. And I have another I woke topic. Up and oh, it was I'm the so morning. Sorry. It was normal. I woke up, it was the morning, and then I took my... I, I, oh yeah, back when I was like very young, like before school, this is before, oh no, I guess during school, I was just really young. I would always wake up in my room, actually no, this is, pro this is probably like over the summer, but like, uh, like bef probably before kindergarten, this is a different topic, but I was always, this was my morning routine. I would wake up at like 10, a.m., 10 a.m., um, Every day. I was in... No, I woke up at like 7 every day. I, wo I was an early baby. I always woke up at like 7. I was, I, and then I would open my curtains in my room and butt naked, I would just put my little... T I would grab up and put let, rest my feet on the windowsill and my butt ass baby, <laughs> baby me would just look out the window with my... with everything hanging out the window for everybody to see. <laughs> And I would do that for about an hour until I felt like I had to poo. I would have to poo every morning. I don't know why. I just, <laughs> I, I used to have to poo every morning. So I would butt ass stare out the window until I, until basically wait, it was too wait, late. Wait, 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 Just to recap, because I'm not sure if I heard that correctly. So you're telling me when you were a wee little lad, just a baby, yeah, you would get up every night, every morning. Every mo oh, I'm sorry. Every morning, around seven, seven and you would take off all of your clothes. No, and... no, no, I slept in no clothes. Oh, you <laughs> slept in the nude. I did that up until like <laughs> sixth grade. I see. Okay, so you took your naked self and you just stared through the window like, for look, like an hour. The window until see you this window cell? Poo. This is what I would stand on. I was about as tall to. Maybe one and a half window panes. I would stand here. My whole body would be showing out the window. Now, remember, my room's window is straight out the front of our house onto the street. So anyone walking their dog, walking their baby, doing whatever at 7 in the morning would see me naked standing out the window. No underwear. I'm naked naked. I would just stand there. And oh I would God. do it until I had to poo. 
because I had to poo every morning. I don't know why I would always have to poo, and I would basically say how long it was too late. How long did you did you continue this charade? I pr- probably the longest could have been in two hours, somewhere around two hours. <laughs> Just standing Wait, when, out the window, what, what, holding my poo. What age? What age did this start, and what age did it? This stop? This age started when I was baby. Like I don't even know. I I all, that's all I can remember. This age started when I was baby. <laughs> <laughs> On baby, um, but this uh, it was. I don't know. Since, since as long as I can remember, and I stopped around, around when I got into school. So like maybe when I was six, I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me you're telling me that your neighbors would look outside and see this naked little boy out the window pressing his junk against the glass just staring back at them. Yep. And then I'm not done with my morning routine. I'm not done with my morning routine. Here's <laughs> Oh my god. Here's the problem. I didn't know how to wipe my butt. Leo, no. Clearly, like Leo. every baby. Not every baby knows how to wipe their butt when they're young. So I would go, no. this is what I would do. And this is probably going to give my mom shivers when I do this. Because I did it up until when, I don't even remember. I would go, mommy, mommy, mom. <laughs> until my mom got up and helped me wipe my ass. <laughs> she swiftly went back to bed. Because, you know, <laughs> tired as hell at 7 in the morning. Bro, you cannot be serious right now. No, this is my morning routine. You're lying. Routine. You've got to be yanking my chain here, pal. Ew, no. <laughs> Not like that. I'm recording for a half hour. Anyway, um... <laughs> um uh, anyway, I would I would finish pooing after going, Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. So then I would be done pooing. And then I would grab, oh, I love this thing. You ever heard of a Leapster Explorer? Of what? A Leapster Explorer. Wait, aren't they like those little tablets yep. for like two-year-olds? My brother yes. and sister, used to ha- they used to have matching ones. And they you they would always fight over them. That one's mine. No, that one's mine. So we had to write their names on each of them in permanent marker. I had the green one. And it had a touch screen. No. Yes. You're lying. I unlocked it, and I and I could like choose my profile, and it had like D, it had a D pad. It was like a game. It was like a like a GBA, a Game Boy Advance. It was about that yeah. size. No, it was okay. more like the size of a PSP. You know, a PSP size. Yeah. It was more like. I've seen the a PSP. Size. Yeah, it's more like about the size of a PSP, and it had gray highlights, but it was mostly green and white. And I had the coolest thing. I had so many games. I had Cars 2, the game. I had uh, <laughs> Learning High School 2. That was a great game. You could make a little hamster go around. Um, <laughs> shut up. I think I had Scooby-Doo, but I never played it. And all Leapsters came equipped with that pet game. Do you remember that? No. Oh, they all had this pet game. And the theme song, oh my god. I don't I barely remember it anymore. Cause I okay. Because I don't even remember. I was probably ten or something, and I'm like, Mom, I wanna try to mess with my leapster. And I took it apart by breaking it. And it it just it's destroyed. I don't I probably it it's in some bag destroyed still in the basement. Wow. So I need to get a new leapster, ASAP. <laughs> so I can load my safety. Here's the main thing. I had the camera attachment. No. Yes. And I'm pretty sure that holds the, the data for the camera. I really hope. Because, yeah. Anyway, every day after I pooped, I go, Mommy, Mommy. I, my mom helps me wipe my butt. I go back in my room. I grab my Leapster. I play with my little dog or cat or whatever When did was. you put on your clothes? I'm so I curious. didn't when I was a kid. I stayed home well, butt naked. You all day. stayed naked all day. I did, yes. Wow. That must have saved a lot of money for your parents. Mm-hmm. Wow. Maybe that is sometimes so underwear, but it it was definitely not part of the dress code. You inspire me. 
to jump out of my window. Okay. Anyway, after I get my Leapster, I probably play with the dog, and then I pull out that camera. I would do the weirdest shit. I would either take a video on my bedroom. That's not weird. It's just me messing around. But sometimes, and I remember this fondly, I would, I, I would oh, take no. it. I would sneak through the hallway at 7 in the morning, open the door to my parents' bedroom, and just record my parents sleeping. What else is a four-year-old going to do with a camera? Are you there? Yeah. Yes? What is wrong with you? I don't know. A lot. Do you have any desire to do this nowadays? No. You said you remember that fondly. You remember distinctly I remember my having morning. happy memories. Because that, but that was just the morning. Video? The rest of the day was me just building crazy forts and stuff. How, how, long, how long would you record them? 30 seconds. Like 30 seconds? Just sneak in for a little bit. Yeah, I would just go with my dad, my mom, and then leave. And then when I'm finished with it, when I feel fulfilled with my video... I would go back into my room and then edit it. You could add little flowers. You could add little things. You could warp the faces. You could put music over it. And that's what I would always do. I would put like, nin, 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 just my parents sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> oh and my then God. I would probably, and then I would grab my, well, when I got it, I would grab my Kindle Fire and watch Dan TDM play the dropper. I um or Happy Wheels. One time my dad caught me watching Happy Wheels like seven in the morning. He's like, Are you watching something you shouldn't? I'm like, Yes, and then he just left <laughs> and left me to watch it. That's why I, I'm the person I am. Now. I would never as as a kid, I would have never gone to my parents' room. Cause here's the thing, right? When I when I was until I was four, I think, or five, I lived in Woodridge with my parents, right? So I, their room is their room that they used to have is actually smaller than the room that I have now. But when I was a toddler, it was huge. I remember it in my mind as being massive. It was like a castle in there. It was humongous. And their bed was so big. It's the same one they have now. And I remember it distinctly being quite large, substantially larger. I would never go in there because I was so scared. I was just intimidated by the size of the room. <laughs> so, I could do How, this worry, no, 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 this worries me. How small was your room? Were you living in the closet? <laughs> Wait, listen, listen, listen. I would do something okay? very different because my mom told me when I was two, that parents have a sixth sense to figure out where their kid is. Oh no! <laughs> no. So what I would do was I would knock on their door, right? Wait, turn your camera off for a second. Why? Because I've had the caution mark for the last like twenty minutes. <laughs> oh. Turn it back on. Wait, give me a second. I'm going to connect my headphones so that it's soundproof. But it sounds fine right now. I know good Marshall. How long has this been going? We've been going for 45, well, uh, just about, or 44 minutes. 44 minutes! I can't hear you, by the way. You need to change your FaceTime call. Uh, microphone preferences. You silly. Hello? No, I can hear you now. Hello. Alright, so. Turn your camera Here's what I would. Oh, right. I apologize. So. This is what I would do. It's not on. I. There we go. I would, um. Just stand there by their door. Okay, here's the thing, right? Let me let me try and visualize it for you, actually. 
Hold on. Oh, let me God. let me visualize what it is I'm talking about. Just so that you can get a better better understanding, of course. I need to uh I need to grab my charger. I need to move that over here. Hold on one second. Let me go grab that real quick. I'm going to I lost I lost your camera again, but it's fine. Okay. I can't see. Right, but you're about to. Am I? My hair looks fluorescent. Ooh. Looks like a dog's on my head. Wow. Bad Why am I so red? Stuff. All right. There we are. So. Okay. All right. So I'm going to need you to be a little bit. Um, I'm going to need you to use a little bit of your imagination. Okay. For this one. Because I, I really want to visualize this for you. I want to paint the scene in your head. Got it. Okay? All right. I just need to grab one more thing. You're grabbing props. Perfect. I'm grabbing props. Okay. Let's say this is the second floor of my old house, right? Okay. So this Tony Stark... That's where my parents' room was, okay? Right over there. Okay. This Spider-Man is where the bathroom was. And this Mandalorian is where my room was, okay? Why do you just have these on hand, now, okay? No connection. This whole section We lost connection. Was... What? No. Yes. <laughs> Have you regained said connection? Yeah. Okay. So this whole area right here is stairs going down to the first one. Okay. Right? Okay. What's Actually, it would be a little bit more accurate if I moved the Mandalorian a little bit more. Because this bathroom was pretty big. But. <laughs> was it bigger than your right, closet? Right there. There was a little strip of land where all all of these um, three rooms, yeah, had a little hallway. hallway, and then it was down to the stairs. So, right there at the hallway with Hall the stairs, I would sit or stand sometimes. But, you know, most of the time I would just sit right there, staring down at the stairs. This black shadowy figure that is me, sitting there, and my parents. Would okay. Here's the thing. My mom is a really like sleeper, so she always heard me open the door, <laughs> and so I would ninja over my crib, open the door, sit there and wait, because I knew they were coming. I knew they were. <laughs> I knew they were coming, and I would sit there and I would just wait. And bro, why would you face the stairs, not the door? I don't know. I distinctly remember <laughs> the first time this ever happened. I remember the first time this ever happened. I was two. This was my earliest memory that I have of my dad. <laughs> he found me there. And he didn't think it was me. Because, okay, you get it. You got to realize. It's like 1 a.m. in the morning. He hears shuffling outside of his door <laughs> and decides to go check it out. So he, <laughs> he just so happened to be awake at the time, I guess. He walks over and he sees me, but he doesn't know it's me. He thought it was a demon and he started saying a prayer behind me. I get me to go away, and I turn around. I'm like, 
Hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you said you could say hey dad when you were two. <laughs> okay. And then so my parents would just take turns. I did this like every what did other dad night. What would you say afterwards? What would <laughs> No. <laughs> Pick me up, put me back in my cage and I'd fall asleep. <laughs> cage? Yeah. <laughs> my little baby, my little baby, <laughs> my crib, whatever. You're I called it a cage. Terrible. My dad locked me back up in my cage. <laughs> I called it a cage because I hated it. I I hated being in it. I wanted to leave so desperately. I wanted to get out. I don't even remember. My grandpa says the first memory he has. I I honestly can't think of the first memory I have. Um, but my grandpa says the first memory he has of is him being bad. What do you mean bad? Like he Michael just Jackson throwing bad? A, a mini deck of cards off his crib, and then his mom getting mad. That's all he can remember. Oh my god. Speaking of, oh my god, I just remembered why I would wake up at night. The heater. You know how sometimes heaters, they have that little tapping sound, right? That's what heater, like the weird pipe ones that they have in the high school? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those make noises. They're really yeah, weird. Yeah. I hate those. Okay, those, I used to have those in my room. Oh, and I thought, that would I thought there was a man tapping on the glass of the window. Oh and my, my mind, my mind would make up stories. Oh, my mind still makes up stories I was, like that. I was on the, I was on the second floor. A man with specifically thirty foot long legs, and every night, every night, this black figure, completely black, except for the white in his eyes. He would walk over to my window every night and tap, tap, tap because he was trying to get in and he was trying to eat me. <laughs> Did you ever try to let him in? And when I, was, when I was a toddler, I thought I saw that guy walk up to the window, tap it, and smile at me. And it used to freak me out, which is why I would always leave the room Did you and see him? stare down into the first floor. Because I would stare into darkness. <laughs> what if you just saw the face and like in the dark? I, a few times I thought I did, but whenever Listen, I was looking I'm still, down, I'm still, whenever I, still I was looking to. down, it wasn't a problem. It was only when I looked up at him, it was an issue. Listen, I'm still scared this of imaginary the dark. person. Right now, I, I'm still scared of the dark. It's weird. Ooh. And it's not because I'm like, oh, monsters. It's just because of the unknown. Like, you don't know what's there. I know it's my house. Like but... me. <laughs> Listen, you know how my house works, right? A bunch of stairs that go down. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just I just imagined that. Yeah. I would have to go down there to get stuff. What stuff? Um, like... Sometimes my dad would help me with, like, Christmas stuff. And sometimes I, I would never go down there unsupervised at night. Because just, go, I, I remember looking over the landing one time, and I'm like, this is scary. This and is I still spooky. look at it like that. If I look down there and it's dark, you know I'm turning on every single light or just not going down there. You know what I want to do one day? What? I want to put you in a completely dark room and start playing random Minecraft ambient cave sound effects in the background and just see how long you'll, you'll stay in there without going insane. Oh, I would crawl would up in a ball and cry. Experiment. That's kind of that's kind of keck. That's kind of keck. Mm. What and do you fun. what do you think of childhood? What do you think of childhood monsters? Are they keck or are they cringe? Childhood monsters. Describe what kind of monsters. Just the monster, like the one I was describing, like the twenty foot tall man who would okay, tap on my that. window and try Babies to get inside of my house. That we don't. Babies like see that. weird stuff. They have like second vision. They can see ghosts, most likely. You could have been seeing some guy in your window, and you just Yo, wouldn't have known. 
Yo, that used to scare me so much. I remember I used to tell my mom that I wanted to switch rooms because I didn't want the man to terrorize me at night. And she goes, it's just the heater, honey. You have nothing to worry about. I'm like, mom, there's somebody trying to get into the house. I promise there's somebody trying to get into the house. But can you picture my staircase? Imagine the 30 foot man in your staircase. Have he's I ever like showed you the picture the of the face I saw walking. in my doorway this summer? No. I have. No, you oh didn't. my God. This scared the hell out of me and probably made it even worse for me. Now, okay. okay. Owen and me used to like hang out like every day over like Demarest times. Like almost every weekend, we would always hang out for both days. And we used to just do the most random crap. We would either film the granny band. Um, we would film the crew, we would film, we would just do any stuff, but one time, it, I fondly remember, it was the Super Bowl, it was the, it was the day of the Super Bowl, and Owen's dad came early to pick him up, but my dad and Owen's dad ended up just sitting down and watching the game together, so we got an extra, like, three hours to hang out, and I remember <laughs> we, we wanted to be ghost hunters, so I drew a Ouija board, and I got a little piece of plastic that I got from school and put it on a cutout of cardboard. And You're started... so dumb. You're so stupid. No, we were stupid. kids. We were ouija and I swear, we did the Ouija stupidest Ouija thing I've ever done. We did it in the hallway while we were looking down with the darkness. You're so dumb. Yeah, you know how much that scared me? And I swear, it... Clearly, Owen was moving it, and I was moving it. But, like, I looked down, and I swear to God, I saw something walk past. Probably my imagination. Yo, I used to come up with the craziest stuff. When I was in elementary school, I'm not even going to lie. Okay, after I saw this trailer for The Joy of Creation, I'm like, the animatronics leave the building? They get into your house? Are you, what? And I started imagining like at nighttime, like right before I was about to like turn on a light or right before I was about to close the door, I would imagine like out from a corner would be like an you animatronic and it would just come out from the dark and stare at me for that little second where I, where it was completely in the dark. That yeah, used to scare too, me so I much. I, um, okay. Let me visualize something else for you about my house. Okay. Yeah. I can't, your so camera's I'm dead, gonna... it's been dead. Damn it. Okay. So, let me, let me just put these Legos on this board once more. It, it, your camera's off. Yeah, I'll turn it back on. No, that's during. Hello? Marcelo, you there? Marcelo? You there? Hello? I'm trying to find the picture of the thing in my window. It scared the hell out of me, man. Humans and demon. Yeah, I have this whole Discord thing. For humans and demon. Uh, you can see it says humans and demon. I don't know what the picture is. I think Aiden just sent random pictures of people. What? Not right now. Oh, oh. That's Leo. Who? Leo. Yeah. Three, why are you screaming like you're dying? Because I was dying. No, sir. Yeah. Marcelo. I saw a ghost and it scared me. Marcelo. Is uh, this what you saw? What? Is that what you saw in the window? No. That's not the guy? It was a much wider face. Much, Ooh. much wider. Um, wait, Leo. Yeah? Yeah? Yes? 
Okay. Okay then. I, I can't hear you. Leo, you're not even paying attention. I can't hear you. What? I can now, but I cannot. You can I only hear me if my camera is off. Well, that is interesting. Well, yeah, because it's trying to load your camera because I can't see you. Oh, okay. Even when your camera's on, so just leave it off for now. All right. Basically, from my the bathroom to my room, there's a hallway. And um, it's not a very long hallway, but it is a hallway. And I would always take my shower last. I don't know why, but my family always makes me go last. So by the time I was done with my shower, it was dark outside, the lights were off. And so there was no light switch right next to um, the bathroom. So I couldn't just turn on the hallway light. There was, because the problem is, is that the hallway also intersects with the kitchen on the other side of the hallway, right? Mm -hmm. So I would have to go all the way over there to turn on the light. There was one light by my room, one light by the kitchen, and that was it. But I couldn't just turn the kitchen light on because my parents always made a big fuss about leaving lights on in a room that you're yeah, not in. Yeah, my dad always. So I would always have to walk over to the kitchen in the dark and stare into the empty blackness that was the kitchen so that I can turn on the hallway light, then go back to my room. So that I could quickly flick the light off in the hallway and the light switch right next to my door and close my door as fast as I could before Freddy Fazbear came to eat my soul. Okay, here's what I have to say about FNAF. It was not, it wasn't like the T Jock, it was FNAF 1. And it was always with the printer corner of this room. The door, of course, <laughs> is right, the door, of course, is right there. And I would always think, Bonnie is there when the lights are off. I would never walk. This room scared me as a kid because the hall light usually was never on. And before we had like incest lighting, we just had one lamp in the middle of the hallway. What is incest awesome. lighting? Uh, recessed lighting. Sorry. Um, Those are very different things, Lita. Whatever. Anyway, the lamp is in the ceiling, and it would be in the hallway. And right. if it was off, the hallway was dark. And this light would always be off, too, if that was off. So this was a very dark room. And especially my parents' bedroom freaked me out. Because it was so quiet in there. And so Wait, dark. then why did you go in there to record your parents sleeping? <laughs> did that motivate you through the dark? That was in the morning when it was bright. It's not that bright at 7 a.m. It was pretty in the bright summer. back when global warning was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Um, we completely forgot about tech or cringe, so let's just do one more and then wrap this up. Cause this has gone on for Hold on. Like, almost an hour. Hold on, I'm trying to find the creepy thing I saw on my door a couple days ago. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about the creepy thing you found. <laughs> you don't. I want to talk about something else now. It scared the balls off me. You're a woman now. I said the balls. But you, you just, you're just ballless. You have a dick, but no balls. Oh my god. So confused. I know. That's so confusing. You're confusing. True. Uh. <sighs> Can you hurry up? We still have Kick or Cringe to attend to, my friend. We can do it right now. That's what oh, I said we should do. We can do it while I'm doing this. That's fine. All right. Do you have a topic in mind? No. All right. How about this? Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. Security breach. Hmm. Is it keck or is it cringe? It is cringe, my friend. It's cringe? Mm hmm. It has zero redeeming qualities? No. 
Really? Yes. There's no you body. Feel- burn trap sucks. All the Doesn't burn trap smell. count as a body though? It's it's spring trap in the worst form ever. It probably spring was trap, trap is a body. Uh... But Monty ruins it. Everybody hates Monty so much. Yeah, because what's there to love? Nothing. He's a gator. He's cool. He plays bass. Nobody loves him. I love for him. good reason. Do you love him? Yes. Why? I'm quite fond of him, actually. Why? He's my favorite part of the game. What? I don't like the game, but I love it. I love... I like the Monty boss fight. And after the Monty boss fight, when he gets no legs and he's just a mass of wires behind him and he's dragging himself off across the floor... That was pretty freaky, actually. I'm not going to lie. Especially in the burn trap ending when he's crawling through the vents like that. That was kind of cool. Okay, for someone that hasn't played it, I don't know. Okay. But for what I know, the game is not the best game out of that series. What's your favorite FNAF game? <sighs> One and soon to be FNAF Plus. Soon to be FNAF Plus? Oh, that will absolutely be my favorite game when it releases. What if it actually turns out really bad? How would it be? The trailers show. Maybe it's really bad. You know what? You know what game was shown to be really good from the trailers? What? Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. No, I never thought the trailers looked cool. I thought the trailers were really cool. Everybody thought the trailers were really cool. Uh, minus me. There was there was a whole section with the moon man in the kitchen that they removed for some reason. I don't know. I never. It was in the trailer. Movie. I didn't even know what it was, and I watched an 8-Bit Ryan video, and he's like, oh, yeah, wow, this RTX FNAF looks great. And I'm like, this is shit. You are a very opinionated person when it comes to Five Nights at Freddy's. Mm-hmm. You seem very passionate about it. Overall, do you think it's a good game? Um, no, I, I don't think so. So I then think what's all the flabbergook good... about? Flabbergook? <laughs> yes. You know which FNAF fan game I'm actually really excited about? What? Five Nights at Fard Bears. Yeah, it's going to look pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. It looks good. It looks good. I saw the trailer. I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah. I heard they have a really talented composer for their music. Yeah, I heard they have a really good composer. Yeah. I think that's going to be a good game. I'm so pumped. Yeah. I'm not sure if the creator said that there was supposed to be just uh, Fard Bag and and Fard Bear, or if there was supposed to be more... I think they have multiple names, but I think there's three characters. One hasn't been released yet, but it's probably going to be some puppet type. Oh, yeah, probably. That makes sense. Yeah, because I think it's going it to be funny. Fred Bears. It would be funny. I think, I think it would be funny if that puppet was, like, really fat. Yeah, that would be pretty good. That would be so ironic. That would be ironic. I cannot that find this picture ironic. for the life of me. <laughs> I'm still searching for it. That is so sad. Leo, I don't think you're ever going to find it. I will. Leo, I think we should I think we should wrap things up. We've just been rambling on about Five Nights at Freddy's and childhood monsters. When you say it like that. <laughs> when you say it like that. Nutmaster? What? I don't know. I got some weird stuff in my camera roll. Well, Leo, I believe it is time to end. Where are we at? Where are we at? What time are we at? We have been recording for an hour and nine and ten minutes. <laughs> I'm going to watch the whole thing when it comes out. Where's it coming out on? Zam Nation, of course. Where else oh, will right. it come out? All right. Well, uh, wait. Let me not. Okay. Well, everybody, I hope you all enjoyed this has been really fun for a first episode. Wait, 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 wait. We should have a guest star next episode. We should pick out a, a random person 
Or maybe somebody who asks. I don't know. We maybe. should have somebody else come on. Maybe we should invite Fardbear. We could invite Fardbear. We could invite River. We could invite so many people. Hunter. We could bring Hunter on here. It's a possibility. Uh... We can, we can bring Sam. We can bring a lot of people on. But for now... We should bring in Sam. <laughs> Adonis. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Adonis could not sit here for an hour with us rambling. Adonis could 100% sit here for an hour rambling. Nah. Alright, well, hope, for this episode... I hope so. <laughs> for this episode, we're done. Bye-bye, everybody. Subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you all next episode. Play that Zam Nation outro. Bam, man, man.